Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back to Cooking with Kim. Today we are making a Mexican casserole. Today. What, uh, what what you got on there? Oh, my sister-in-law gave me this shirt. Isn't it cute? I what's, love it. What's it say? It says, I never dreamed to grow up to be a super sexy camping lady, but here I am killing it. <laughs> yeah, right. Huh? That's my wife. <laughs> All right, so we have a pound of hamburger meat. We have a small onion. All I had was a, was a, a purple, so I'm using it, but normally I use a yellow. One 16-ounce bag of Doritos, which nowadays are now 15 and a half ounces. We have a 16-ounce bag of Mexican blended cheese. We have a package of taco seasoning. I'm using the reduced sodium. We have a can of Bush's chili beans. We have one can, which I'm using two smalls, of the Hunt's tomato sauce. We have sour cream. We have the can of cream of chicken. And we have a half of cup of milk on the sour cream i believe it's 16 ounces i'm gonna put in here yes it is it's 16 ounces i'm gonna put in here of that so it'd be half this one pound i mean one uh cup i mean shoot 16 ounces shoot i can't even think right now so what i'm gonna do first is i'm going to go ahead and brown my hamburger meat in with the onion and i'm gonna come back to you after i drain this and show you how we put it together this is so simple and so easy what you use in there this is 97 percent lean and three percent 97.3 is And what the it is. pot, you just got an electric... Oh, my pot, I just have my electric skillet. Electric skillet. All yep, right. And this is the best thing in the world. Y'all, this is this. A, this is a great casserole. Uh, it's so easy. I mean, you can you can make it the night before and then go ahead and add the Doritos and stuff the next day so that it is, doesn't get soggy or whatever before you bake it. It's really good. We're going to put it together and I'll show you how it comes out. All right. Stay see tuned. See you in a minute. Hey, everyone. We're back. Okay, I have now drained my meat and so it's back in the pot. So we got the meat and we and got the, the onion. onion. Yes, and now I'm gonna add my package of taco seasoning to it. And when I was telling you about the sour cream, a lot of people like to put the sour cream over the whole top of it after it's baked, but it says 16 ounces. But actually a lot of people in our family don't like sour cream, so we just do it to taste and you take a dab of it out and put it on your, your plate as you want. So you don't have to use the sour you don't cream? Have, no, you don't have to use it if you don't want no to. No deal it breaker. Go, it doesn't go into the actual recipe, so you're okay yeah. with it if you don't do it. Now we're going to add the tomato sauce. This is so easy. All right, and this is going to feed probably six, six, six to, eight to eight people, people. depending how much you eat. Yeah, because I mean, it, it feeds a 16 year old, two other men, and two women for sure. So it's and it's very good. It's just it's just easy, and you can make this this in the morning and let it sit, and then add you know get it all together, layer it in the pan. It's not a, it's not a big deal. It's very easy to do because this is all you're gonna do, and let it you let the, after all this comes together, we're gonna let this simmer for ten minutes, and then I'm just gonna turn it off. And let it sit here till I decide I'm going to make it, and I'm going to come back to you then at that point and let you know. So you're going to do what now? I was confused. Which is a, is a regular state together. for me. Yes, I'm putting everything together. I'm going to let it simmer for ten minutes. On and on simmer, simmer. okay. And I'm going to let it simmer for ten minutes, and then I'm just going to turn it off and let all the flavors marry for a while, and then I'm going to come back to you and put it together. I don't have to put it together right this minute. Okay. Should you have strained the beans, or nope. does it matter? The juice yeah, and the beans. No, I would have told you if I needed to strain them, baby. Well, excuse me. <laughs> nope, you don't strain them. All right, so let that simmer for 10 minutes. And the only other thing we're going to do is layer it in a thing with Doritos and put this on top and put cheese on top and bake it. I mean, it's how much easier can you get? And it is really, it has a very good flavor to it. So All right, just remember. Mary, and we'll come back to you. All right, just remember and every uh, week Kim puts out a cooking video if uh, good Lord's willing. And, like, uh, subscribe, comment. Yeah, if you get a chance, hit that subscribe button if you haven't done already. We appreciate everybody that watches the videos. And yep. we hope you're having a good time uh, watching our videos. We try to make it exciting and not too boring with some of the details. But uh, anyway, we'll be back with the final product here. Stay tuned. 
Okay, everyone, we decided now we're hungry and we're going to go ahead and get this ready. We're going to bake it in a 350 oven that's preheating. And we're going to put this whole bag of chips, the 15 and a half ounce bag, well, maybe. Yeah, save me some for later. Okay, now. So these are just the regular nacho Doritos? Yes. I guess maybe if you wanted to, you could use the spicy ones or I don't know. Try something different if you want. Let us know if they taste any different. All right, so you take your, uh, your little take concoction there. Put it on top of it. And this is really good. I like it this It really stuff. is good because it goes down in here. It's really it's good. Mm -mm -mm. Look at all that. All kinds of goodness. Yeah, it's really good. And then when we get through with this, we're going to go ahead and we're going to put the cheese on top. And after it's baked, I'm going to come back to you and we're going to put some more cheese on top of it, too. So this Which, is another one of those things that you can take to a, a, a get-together or whatever. I don't know if you've seen this before, uh, but this may be something different that people can try. And it really goes over good. I mean, people love it. And it's so easy. And you have to excuse me, I got paint all over me. All right, so you got all on there. Now what you're going to do, you throwing cheese on top of that? Yep. Um, what cheese. kind of cheese are you going to use, babe? Mexican. Oh, that's right. Which is... Look at that, Look at that big refrigerator, y'all. She's got a jam pack. I do, huh? It's nice to have a big fridge sometimes. Let's get it down a little bit in here. Ooh, hear that crunch. That's why you don't want to make it too far ahead. You can make, make the mixture, but don't put it all together because then it'll get soggy, I find. And nobody likes soggy chips. No. All right, so sprinkle some cheese on that. And we're going to put it in the 350 oven. For and how long? And it's going to bake for, I believe, 30 minutes. Um, Yes, 30 minutes. And then we're going to come back to you. And we're going to show you how good it is. It's just something a little different that people like. So Very nice. So we will come back to you in a little while. All right. See you in a few. Okay, everyone, it's been 30 minutes, and here it is. It's came out of the oven. So all you're going to do now is put a little bit more cheese on there to melt it, which you don't really have to if you don't want to, but it does make it pretty yummy. And then after you put it on your bowl and your, and your plate, whatever you're going to use, bowl or plate, you can go ahead and you can use the um, sour cream and put a dab on there if you want to. If you choose not to, you don't have to. And that is it. All right, another episode of Cooking with Kim again. Easy and good. Hope you enjoy this recipe. I want to say shout out to a bunch of folks out there. Uh, of course, Lisa and Rob up there in Canada fighting the mosquitoes. Uh, <laughs> sounds like you you're, should be full up there. You shouldn't be hungry at all. And, uh, of course, uh, there's a couple other people out there that uh, uh, we wish them well. Um, we hope you're out there enjoying your uh, RV trips. And, again, just another day cooking in the RV. So until next time, stop the madness. Start the adventure.